Okay. Let's say you are trying to change. You are determined to change and you are beginning to change. So let's say those things are true about you. Okay. Be careful of the people you choose to be around. Be careful if anyone tries to re-enter your life around that time. If people from your past try to re-enter your life when you are trying to do what is right, be cautious, be careful, especially if they are trying to get you to do things you used to do. Please listen to what I am trying to tell you. Yes, you may have loved a certain woman. You may have loved a certain man. If you are trying to change your ways and that person comes back to your life, man, I think you should see that as a red flag. Especially if that person isn't trying to encourage you to serve God. I believe demons can send people your way. I am telling you, you may have been really good friends with someone and maybe an argument broke out and you all may have departed from each other. So now that you are serving God and let's say that person came back, you may want to rekindle or start up that friendship relationship or whatever else. Listen now, be cautious. Better yet, don't even entertain that person. Don't even try to come around that person. Don't even try to talk to that person if that person is not of God. Okay. I guess you can speak with that person about God, but if you can see that person is not willing to change, cut it off. No matter how much you loved that person or, you know, in in an in intimate way, no matter how much you cared about that person, whatever else, Cut it off. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I believe demons will try to get you back into sin. Everyone that enters in your life, I don't believe were sent by God. Especially if you are weak in Christ. I think it is one thing for me. I believe I am sent people a certain type of way. But if you are weak in Christ, which I am not saying I am the strongest person in Jesus Christ. But if you are weak in Christ, be very careful who you choose to re-enter your life or to speak to you. Myself, I used to do a certain thing so much in my past. And I think even now, I think even still, temptations come my way concerning that certain area. I am telling you. I am telling you. So, with me, it is kind of automatic. 
you know, I can kind of read people and stuff like that. So if a person's intentions are wrong, I think I can pick up on it with some people, I guess, kind of fast. But for you, but for you, if you are weak in Jesus Christ, as in don't really know much about his rules and stuff like that, probably one of the best things for you to do is be around like-minded people, people who want to serve God. Even with that, I believe you still have to be careful. Don't just, don't just allow anyone to come by you. Protect yourself. Myself, I think so many, maybe I should not say so many, but I think I have had different types of people contact me. I have to protect myself. If I did not, probably I would be back to my old ways. Maybe I should say by God's grace as well, I am where I am now. So let me stop here. God bless you.